dietitians and get ready as today we are going to explore customary weight units and we're going to generate data based on those units. Let's get into it with our I will statements for today. Remember, your I will statements are your goals for this lesson. They are what we are trying to work on and learn more about throughout our time together today. As we continue on in our lesson, make sure you have your mind focused on these three things and showing them to your teacher. I will read the I will statement first, and then we will read it again a second time together. Make sure you're reading it nice and loudly so I can hear you, but no shouting necessary. Pause the video and read the I will statements now as a class. For one of your reviews today, you are going to be playing around the world. How this game works is you will each start by sitting on top of your desk. While you are sitting by your desk, one student will stand by the person next to them. Each of the students will be shown an, a math problem at the same time. It might be a multiplication problem, addition, subtraction, or division problem. Your job is to say the answer as quickly as possible. Whoever says the correct answer moves on to the next seat over. If you answer incorrectly, you move and sit in your seat and watch and cheer your friends on. The goal of the game is to get all the way around the room by answering all of the facts correctly. I will post the rules on the screen for you to pause and talk about. If you have any questions, ask them now. Come back and play the video to see which math problems you will be using for this round of Around the World. All right, mathematicians, gear up as today. We are going to explore different weight measurements using a scale to give ourselves a better idea of how much of these things really do weigh. For these real life examples, we will be exploring and and growing a better understanding of how much one pound and one ounce weighs. We'll be using different scales and you'll get an opportunity to try some of the scales throughout the room, but you'll start with whichever one your teacher places you at. After your teacher guides you through exploring a pound and an ounce, you're going to start to develop the relationship between the two by comparing them and figuring out how many ounces are in a pound and vice versa. Good luck with your explorations today, mathematicians, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.